We're going to take a look at the CCI shot shell, specifically in 9mm. I've always thought that these were fascinating little cartridges. If you haven't seen one up close, there it is. In the 9mm, this particular one has 230 pellets underneath that plastic cap. And in this variety, they are a number 11 shot. I say that because I've also seen number 12 shot advertised by CCI for the 9mm. They're using non-reloadable aluminum cases. I mean, it looks like a pharmaceutical. It looks like something that you would take as a prescription. And this is designed to be a prescription for snakes and small rodents. That is their primary purpose and function. I do not consider these to be self-defense loads, and that's one reason why I put together this little video. We're going to mess around with this and just show you the dispersion on a shoot and see target at various distances. We're going to look at some penetration characteristics on some water bottles, a little piece of wood, and then I have a little surprise at the end. So stay tuned. I'll be using the Glock 19 with a 4 inch barrel, and you may already know this. These shot shells do not cycle well in the Glock 19. I've never had success in a Glock 26, 17, or 34 either. I have owned a Glock 30 and 45 ACP, and the shot shells worked very well and cycled well in that handgun. But you'll read accounts where these do not cycle well in a lot of different types of semi-autos, work perfectly well in revolvers. And for semi-auto use, for self-defense, that is one reason alone why this is not a good self-defense choice. Okay, I have a one gallon jug of water. I'm standing with my muzzle 10 feet away. Let's see what we can do here. And to illustrate that what I said a moment ago does not cycle, just jams up in there. Let's take a look at it. One gallon jug at 10 feet, you could see in the shot it really didn't even move. I counted approximately 50 holes in the front of the jug and about five or six on the back. That's all that penetrated through. And about 50 pellets out of 230, so not a real good ratio there. You can see it's already widely dispersing. One inch thick soft pine board and I have this tacked to a dead tree. Just so you know that. Five feet. You can see the disbursement on the pine board, and there's the plastic wadding that's embedded down in there. These are penetrating about a quarter of an inch based on some we skimmed here on the very side. So not very deep, and again, for self-defense on an individual, this is not very effective. We're going to look at some disbursement on the shoot and see. These numbers are feet, not yards. On the five and a half inch shoot and see at five feet, we had pretty good coverage. And then some, those two larger holes, one is the plastic cap, the other is the wadding. Moving back to 10 feet, you can see we lost quite a bit. So it really spreads out between five and 10 feet. Again, that's a four inch barrel. Other calibers in the shot shell are probably gonna do a little bit better. And there's the wadding embedded at 10 feet. And then 15, you can see just not very much at all on the shoot and see. Now, for self-defense distances, it's going to be anywhere from arm's length to maybe 15, 20, 20 feet uh, in most cases. So you can see that uh, at best, even at five feet with this type of cartridge, the most you're going to do is just really hack somebody off. It is not likely to stop a threat. It should be obvious now that the intended purpose, the manufactured purpose, as well as how it's marketed for this cartridge is for snakes and small rodents and so forth. I've used it on mice and moles. However, in Tennessee, it is illegal to kill snakes, including poisonous snakes. However, it is not illegal to go after the Tennessee garden hose snake.
I think the CCI Shot Shell is a very good product, meets a great concept and a definite perceived need. Again, CCI is not marketing this as a self-defense cartridge. It is for small rodents, environments, and snakes that you're typically going to encounter at arm's length. In Tennessee, it's illegal to kill snakes with this, but it is quite effective on garden hoses full of ketchup that are posing as snakes. Make wise choices and stay safe.